Hello and welcome to the CPS Inspires Update. I'm Craig Burnback. And over at Frontier Middle School, students are working hard to transform their outdoor garden space into a habitat that will attract native living creatures like bees, lizards, salamanders, and frogs. And guess what? It's working as Frontier students are proving that just like in the movie Field of Dreams, if you build it, he will come. Say hello to the newest and most popular member of the Frontier Middle School family. It's like if you see a celebrity, you're like, cool, I want to take a picture with them because like they're a celebrity. Everyone knows them. Same with like this frog. This celebrity frog was found in the outdoor classroom of science teacher Matthew Solberg. First day of school and there's this massive frog in a tank of water just filled with duckweed and I couldn't believe it. And I got really excited and I caught the frog and I immediately knew it was a northern red-legged frog. Of course, Mr. Solberg knew right away, but for those of you who are not frog experts, here's why finding this particular frog at Frontier was so exciting. It's a sensitive species. Their population has been in decline in recent years. And so for this frog to make its way across the lawn and from the neighborhoods all the way to this little school garden. I thought it was really special. And so did Mr. Solberg's students. Everyone's like so excited because they just wanted to see the frog and wanted to just see the frog, right? Everyone was like, I want to see it, I want to see it. And was everyone crowding, so we had to spread out. But everyone eventually saw it. It'd go under the water sometimes, but when it popped its head out, it was really cool. The fact that this frog was here to pop its head out at all is a testament to the hard work that the students are doing to make this outdoor space a special place for wildlife. We're trying to work towards a habitat certification. So right now the students are working to research native plants that attract certain species like pollinators or frogs. And we're gonna plant a native habitat along this fence. That right there, that big one, that golden yellow is a European honeybee. See this right here? We're planning on making a water like trough so frogs or any animals can like come here and like mate and stuff and we can have little baby tadpoles and hopefully we can like make the population bigger. Yep, the goal is to make sure that this frog, Felix the frog, <laughs> because yes, isn't the last frog to call Frontier home. I'm really excited because my students worked hard to plant some native plants, and lo and behold, we've got this sensitive species native to our area that shows up. And to me, that says that we're doing the right thing. We're happy to report that at last check, the frog was still there at Frontier. And Mr. Solberg recently told us that a long-toed salamander was spotted in the garden. And yes, I'm sure Mr. Solberg knew right away that it was a long-toed salamander. For Evergreen Public Schools, I'm Craig Burnback.